Electricity poles have been left hanging, dangerously raising fears among area residents as the water and electricity companies pointed an accusing finger at the contractor. Under the World Bank project, Site, Kabati and County Council estates have benefited from road rehabilitation and expansion of the current drainage systems. Last week, county bulldozers brought down several structures constructed on road reserves and which were deemed to be blocking the rehabilitation project. According to Sophia Akinyi, water pipes to tens of homes had been cut off by the tractors, leading to a health crisis in the estates. <laughs> Akinyi, who works in one of the flower farms, identified Kabati Estate as the most affected for seeing a health disaster. Ukitoka pale kwa makemi kwa lazima ukuje uoge ungari. Kama una maji utaoga, jesu utanuka makemi kwa sibadu. She added that they had been forced to buy water from vendors who had doubled their prices after learning that the residents had no other source of getting the commodity. Hassan Godana, an elder in the area, says they were living in fear after some electricity poles were left hanging dangerously. Efforts to contact KPLC to come and replace the poles were futile, putting the lives of many in danger. The sentiments were echoed by another resident, Joseph Chule, who said that the high voltage power lines could collapse on their houses any time. Vile hawa tuwe kutengeneza barabara walichimba hapa. Na pia hawa tulijaribu kuambia wazi karibiane na posti sana, lakini hawa kuwa natusikiliza. Hawa wanaangalia kazi yao, wanasema wameongea na watu wa Kenya Power, na watu wa Kenya Power na hawa... The Nevasha Water Company has already gone to court to compel the contractor to repair the damaged pipes which occurred during the ongoing works across the three estates.